Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this ISTQB foundation exam question and answer video, I'm going to cover another five very important ISTQB exam questions along with the explanation. So that will clarify any of the doubts that you have in the questions and more or less the ISTQB exam pattern is absolutely similar because these are the sample questions from ISTQB website itself. So you will also get a very good understanding before attempting the exam. So highly recommend you go through each of these videos that I'm posting. So question first of this video or question number 21 in total says you are testing a system that calculates the final course grade for a given student. The final grade is assigned based on the final result according to the following rules. So what are the rules? 0 to 50 points failed, 51 to 60 fair, right? So basically these are the ranges that they have specified and what is the final result, okay? So based on these, you have following set of test cases. So you as a tester have prepared following set of test cases. So how many test cases? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and final result 91. So basically 91 is excellent. 50 is failed because it falls into this category 0 to 50. Then 81 very good. 60 is fair, right? 60 is fair. 70 is satisfactory, which is this one and 80 is good, which is this one, right? So basically mostly excellent failed, very good fair. So one of the final result, one combination from each of these partitions that we see here, right? Now the question is what is, okay, so it says what is two value, boundary value analysis coverage for the final result that is achieved with existing test case, okay? So two value boundary value analysis. So when we say two value boundary value analysis, so what is the boundary value for this particular partition. So two value boundary is basically first is zero, second is 50. For this one, it's 51 and 60. So when we say two value boundary value analysis, it's basically for each of these partitions, if you see here, so if you're talking about two value, so we are taking the lower and the higher both. That means each partition will have two test cases. Okay. And now based on this, how many partitions are there? If we have to get the 100% two value BVA coverage, we, we have to get one, two, three, four, five, six, six partitions. That means we will get two test cases, one lower, one higher for each boundary for each partition. Okay. So two, four, six, eight, 10 and 12, right? So six into two, which is 12 test cases to get 100% two value boundary value analysis. Now the question is, what is the two value boundary value analysis coverage for the final result that is achieved with the existing test cases? Now in the existing test case that you see, we are, we have picked up one test case in each of the partition. Okay. So that is only six. That is only six here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. For covering, for getting 100%, we need 12. So basically 6 by 12 is half, right? So this is half of it. So basically, if we had 12 test cases, then we can say it's 100%. But if it is 6, it is 50%, right? So A is the answer, which is 50% in this particular case. For two value boundary value analysis, the coverage with these test cases is only 50% because this is half of what is required to get full coverage. And how you get the full coverage? You get the full coverage based on these partitions that are there. So six partitions, that means 12 test cases to cover the lower boundary and the upper boundary. And we have six, so that is why 50%. Okay, so this is the answer. Answer option is A, rest all you can. Moving to the second question of this video is your favorite bicycle detail rental store. Okay, now these are little more detailed questions. Basically, you have to read a lot. Okay, so you have to make sure that you read quickly and then come to the exact question or basically what exactly is being asked. Okay. So your bicycle daily rental store has just introduced a new CRM customer relationship management system and asked you one of their most loyal members to test it. Okay. The implemented features are as, as follows. So these are the features. Anyone can rent a bicycle, but members receive 20% discount. Okay. So members receive 20% discount. However, if the return deadline is missed, the discount is no longer available, right? So if even if member misses the deadline, no discount count after 15 rentals members get a gift which is a t-shirt okay so basically three features here now decision table describing the implemented features looks as follows okay so this is the decision table based on these features now what they are asking based only on the 
feature description of the CRM system, which of the above rule describes an impossible situation. So out of these situations or conditions that are there in the decision table, we have to figure out which one describe, which rule describes an impossible situation. So we'll go through one by one of these conditions. Okay. So conditions when we say R1, so being a member is true, missed deadline is true, 15th rental, false. Okay. 20% discount, no gift t-shirt, no. Why? Because the person missed the deadline. So no discount. All right. And 15th rental is not true. So that means member is not going to get t-shirt. All right. So even if 15, if, if the person is men, member and 15th, if it is the 15th rental of the member, then they'll get a gift t-shirt. Okay. Even if they missed the deadline based on these statements. So R2, this is, this looks valid. When we go to R2, being a member, true, missed deadline, false, 15th rental, false. That means the member is going to get 20% discount easy this is also correct r3 being a member true miss deadline true 15th rental true so miss deadline so person is not going to get member is not going to get 20 percent discount which is fine but they are going to get a t-shirt because they are the member and it's their 15th rental so this is also correct okay so these three are valid now r4 being a member true miss deadline false 15th rental true that means so it the person is also a member didn't miss the deadline and also 15th rental Okay, so that means they are also going to get 15, 20% discount and also a gift t-shirt. So this is also a valid option. R5, being a member, false. Okay, missed deadline, true and 15 rental false so the person is not a member miss the deadline true so if, if you are not member anyways you are not going to get discount so this itself says no discount and even if it is a 15 rental if you are not member you are not getting anything so that's fine r6 member false miss deadline false 15 rental false that's also fine no discount for this so these are the valid valid conditions here okay then r7 being a member okay no not a member miss deadline no 15 rental yes but because the person is not a member so they are not going to get any discount and they are also even if there are there is a it's their 15th rental they are not going to get a gift t-shirt as well right now moving to the last one being a member false okay miss deadline true 15th rental is true gift t-shirt is marked here as that they are going to get gift t-shirt right so here you can see how we could have came to this conclusion very quickly so now you will see i have gone through one by one right in these sort of situations how you can quickly arrive to the answer now here this is the invalid condition okay so that means r8 is the correct answer and whatever wherever r8 is there you have to choose that so basically d is the correct answer so you can imagine i go I have gone through each one of these one by one. Okay. It took so long. How could I have, could I have done it quicker in the exam? So basically, if you see here, being a member and not being a member. Okay. So there are two things that you have to remember being a member, not being a member and 15th rental based on that the outcome was decided okay so if you are a member right if you are a member you go ahead and see the other condition that defines that dictates basically the discount and the gift t-shirt right so if here we are seeing that okay these are these are the member options miss deadline true obviously no discount and this is false no right so quickly you can go ahead and come to the conclusion in this particular case so basically we could have started the other way around wherein we see that there is a there is not a member okay so if this condition was only for the members right so as soon as we see this particular question and we see any marking in the actions in the discount or a gift t-shirt for non-member okay then we can quickly see that okay for a non-member there shouldn't be anything available here neither the discount nor the gift t-shirt right so that way we could have concluded straight away this is not the valid answer rather than going through all of these right here you'll see members receive 20 percent discount members get a gift t-shirt so that means no in the non-member section there shouldn't be any discount present and any gift present okay so if you read this clearly and try to arrive then you don't have to go through each one of these and arrive to the answer so that will make things a little quicker
just a tip on that okay otherwise you go through one by one unless you until you are really fast you won't be arriving on this conclusion really quickly okay so that's the answer answer number d which is r8 moving to the next question you test a system whose life cycle is modeled by state transition diagram shown below the system starts in the init state and ends its operation in the off state Okay, so init and off state. What is the minimal number of test cases to achieve valid transitions coverage? Okay, so valid transition coverage we are trying to see what is the minimal number of test cases. Okay, so we see there are a couple of stages, okay, states and then the transition. So init, test and then in the debug, done. So you see first valid transition from init is test done. Okay, so test done. All right, so basically from init to uh, test and done right so from init state then so this path is covered then the next one is run okay so it comes here could go to the error okay so error is also covered run is also covered and then done so done anyways got covered but this path right so from here that's the other one okay so second test case then third test case so there are a couple of states still left right so a couple of transitions still left which are left pause resume and done okay so the third one let's see so from here a run then we try to cover this path okay so we'll say pause now if you have to cover this whole thing again so we from pause we can go it comes on on hold all right and then we can say okay resume so resume is also covered then again if we go pause that test case three right so this is three this is two this is one so third test case will test run pause resume pause so resume and then again pause and then done okay so resume pause and then again done right so basically run pause resume pause and then done so third test case will cover all the transitions that were left right first one test done second run error done third run pause resume pause done okay so three test cases will be sufficient efficient right minimal number of test cases to achieve valid transition coverage is three so the option is d right so d is the correct option in this particular okay now moving to the next one your test suite achieved 100 percent statement coverage what is the consequence of this fact okay so there is 100 percent statement coverage now they are asking what is the consequence of this fact let's go through these points each instruction in the code that contains a defect has been executed at least once okay yes this looks true for statement coverage 100 percent stated statement coverage because each instruction in the code that contains a defect has been executed at least once that's correct for statement coverage let's go to the other options before we mark it as the point because we we know that we just have to select one but we want to eliminate others so any test suite containing more test cases than your test suite will also achieve 100 percent statement coverage that's not correct any test suite containing more test cases that doesn't mean that particular test suite will also achieve 100 percent statement coverage that's not correct each path in code has been executed at least one no that's not correct for the statement coverage because statement coverage doesn't mean that every path if there is a loop that it's not going to cover every possible combination of the loop in the statement coverage that's incorrect every combination of input values has been tested at least one at least once that's also not correct so the correct answer is a each instruction in the code that contains a defect has been executed at least one okay moving to the last question of this particular video which of the following is not true okay make sure you notice this not true for white box testing so there is one which is not true out of these four we have to select that one option during white box testing the entire software implementation is considered that is for white box testing okay so this is option is not correct because we are finding not white box coverage metrics can help identify additional test cases to increase increase code coverage that's true for white box so this is also not option white box test techniques can be used in static testing that's also true for white box testing white box testing can help identify gaps in requirements implementation right that's not the purpose of white box testing so the correct option is d white box testing can help identify gaps in requirement implementation white box testing does not help in identifying gaps in requirement 
testing so the option is d for this particular okay so that's next five questions for istqb foundation exam with explanation each of these points step by step go through these videos in detail before you attempt your exam they are these are going to definitely help you in your exam journey that's all for this video i'll see you in the next one with another five questions with detailed explanations thank you see you in the next one